Yo, this is Rob Harvilla from 60 Saws That Explain the 90s, the world's greatest loopy and perverse and inaccurately named music nostalgia podcast. We're doing 90 songs now because there's too many songs. Pearl Jam, Jay-Z, Jewel, U2, Cher, Hootie. These are just some of the names people yell at me on the internet because we're back. More great songs, more rad special guests, more loopy perversity. Join us once more on 60 Songs That Explain the 90s every Wednesday on Spotify. This episode is brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. All right, it's official. I think I've discovered the ultimate coupling of all time. Like any good relationship, they really balance each other out. One is super sweet, and the other, well, they can be a little nutty sometimes. It is, of course, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, the perfect combination of peanut butter and chocolate. So perfect, some would call it true love. Find Reese's now at a store near you. This episode is brought to you by Visible. Maybe you've already let your New Year's resolution slip. We all have, but you can still make a two-year's resolution with Visible. Right now, you can get a one-line wireless plan from Visible for just $20 per month for 24 months. 24 months is basically four bachelor seasons. That could be four engagements, four broken engagements, so many other couples we didn't see them coming. It's really an eternity in Bachelor Nation. And that's unlimited 5G data powered by Verizon with no annual contracts. Switch now at Visible.com and use the code Visible24. Don't miss out. Offer ends January 31st. New members only. Promotional rate with service on the Visible plan. For additional terms and network management practices, see Visible.com. Welcome to Bachelor Party. I'm Juliette Littman. I'm here with Callie Curry. Hi, Callie. Hello. More than any other week, it was Shanae week on the beach and at the Vedanta Estates. How are you, you know feeling what? about? Uh, how are you feel about Shanae? You know, a lot of going back and forth on who this gal is. Yeah, two things. I want to say it's more of a Kate week than Shanae week, but okay. they're like one A, one B. Okay. Um, I had really come around on Shanae. Okay. <laughs> I have to assume she is more of this person than the other person. Of like the more fun person, you're saying? No. Oh, you think she's more of the flying I off think the she, handle person. I think that she was trying to keep it together. Mm. Um, now in your life, like how often do you have, like how often are you put in these situations? How often do you have to fly off the handle? I'm sure overall in her life. <laughs> I try to probably, do it never. Every yeah. time I do, I regret it. I've never <laughs> once like lost it and felt good about it. I don't, I don't, I really have to do some, some tallying on whether I have ever, liked it or not liked it. There's been a few arguments that I'm happy about. Um, but I would hope that she's not put in these crazy positions too often where this happens a lot. <laughs> but do I think that she deals with these situations like, well, no, I think this is how she deals with those situations. I think, yeah, I mean, I think we're getting the totality of who she is. Like we probably were only getting the um, crazy, the crazy. And now we're seeing both the fun and like the neutral and the crazy. So in that sense, I guess like good job paradise for giving us the full Shanae. I will say the most like silly thing to happen on the show this season was this week when her and Genevieve were obviously wasted in the middle of the day and just like talking about how much they love each other. And then doing that really weird walk by the pool where they're like sticking their, their bums out. I was just like, okay, so they're, completely drunk and just don't know what to do. It was, it was pretty funny. I, I love friendship. I love seeing people enjoying friendships. I was like, this is sweet. They're having a good time together. I think that it makes me like Genevieve more. Mm. Not that I just, not, not that I like, like Shanae less, but Genevieve can like annoy me a little bit sometimes. And this week I was like, there was like multiple places or edits where they showed her with different women like just being fun and i liked that shanae or genevieve genevieve oh yeah can i ask you a question i always have short untended for nails but genevieve's nails are so i i my my point is i'm not an expert (laughs) genevieve's nails really were distracting to me are those i didn't notice okay so then i guess they're just like that's like normal what it looks like when you have Mm -hmm. extension nails or whatever what's that called 
They were like long well, white nails. They clearly were like some kind of enhancement. I guess. I There's so many different types of nails. Like my nails, I don't know. Obviously, no one can see them. Mm-hmm. They're very long, but these are my real nails. And there's just like a hard gel on top of them. How do you grow them that long? Because I get them done every two weeks. And like, I yeah, but put even hard... so, five, Look, it's like, it takes me like 36 hours every time I get any kind of whatever to break something. Yeah, you but kids. if you have, if you have hard gel on top of them, they don't break. So yeah, like I know. Easier. I used to get gel. And then I stopped during the pandemic. No, but hard was... gel is different. Oh, I see. Hard gel is like, I can't even describe. But um, I need to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to play it in the background to see if I can see her nails at any point in time. But I'm sure. Also, how long have they been there now? Two weeks? Yeah. Um, they should still look completely fine at this point. They looked fine. They just, I just thought they were like weird looking. Um, well, there's a lot of different shapes. There's a lot <laughs> of different qualities. So, um, also a lot of people are doing press-ons these days. Uh, I don't know. They were. If just I was on Paradise, me. press-on seems like a great option because you can switch it up. You can keep them more fresh. Also, you're not like doing anything that's like hard labor. So, like, Got it would it. be a good. Okay. It would be a good time to do it. I was surprised that the women at the estates, Vedanta, were so miserable because honestly, it looked so much nicer than the beach. So nice. Oh my God. I was like, this is a beautiful hotel suite. What is that? What was that indoor outdoor pool situation that Brittany and Tyler were at? I was like, why would you yeah. ever want to go back to Sayulita? This is so also much the better. setup. Like this, their like outdoor living space was yeah. seems so comfy and nice and air conditioned. In general, their place seems so much nicer. I can understand Genevieve being miserable because like her and Aaron weren't like super duper solid. So she's just like freaking out the whole time. If I was serene, I would be just like chillaxing. Chill. And she was, yeah. she was like totally normal, having a good time. Yeah. Like Serene is just the absolute MVP. She's, I wouldn't say she's contributing the most to the season, but that's because she's so just like chill. She's got a good normal, relationship. She's happy. normal, happy. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't even know what kind of player to compare her to. She's like the Clay Thompson of paradise, honestly, like solid <laughs> contributor, just going along with it, but not the MVP. And I just want to say Clay Thompson's my favorite player. So that's a huge I'm compliment gonna go for me. I'm going to go with more of an MVP type of player. Okay. But I feel like she's more like Kawhi. Stays out mm. the way scores tons of points is gonna win or has won because he's won already won a championship nice. she's gonna win she's gonna win brandon he like, won she's too. just she's yeah <laughs> she and he's the youngest mvp i think ever Five um, MVP, yeah. um but yeah i feel like he is i mean she's him just like i really i'm, I'm good except with the personality <laughs> yeah but we don't really we don't get to see it a lot because there's just nothing to there's not much to show she's in a great mood. I know. She just seems like a great hang. Like, she's the glue of the estates. Have um, you come around on Brandon yet? Uh, yeah. So, well, there's a lot going on this week. We're going to dart all over the place, but we're on the topic of Brandon and Serene. Let's just talk about Olu, the, the biggest mystery yeah. of what happened. Clearly, something happened with Olu because Brandon was tweeting, or he posted on Instagram, like, if they don't show what this man, what happened with this man, like, get me on a podcast to talk about it. So something yeah. happened with Olu, likely like having to do with Serene, and no one was sad when Olu left, and it was like a pretty unceremonious exit for he and Rick. Though people were tweeting like, "Oh, love Rick, sad he's gone." Really wanted him to find someone. Not only tweeting, they were saying it in their interviews. They went through each guy, and um, every person was like, "I don't have a connection with him. He's so nice." Blah 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 blah. Then they were like. Uh, Jesse was like, do you have a connection with Olu? And they all were just like, no, period. Never addressed, <laughs> never, nothing more. Not like, oh, I wish you could find love. There was no extra commentary. Then after when he left, they were all like, oh my God, I can't believe like Rick just had to leave and da, 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 da. Not a sentence, not a sentence was said about Olu. I know. And it's just like I feel like from the show. I may have not noticed it, but because Brandon tweeted that and yeah. then watching this, I was like, there's something that happened. I think we would have been like, what about Olu? They didn't really show him because we liked him on Michelle's season. So I think we would yeah. have like, noticed it. But it seems like there were. this is like more deliberate 
It reminds me of when I don't remember her name, but a character got edited out of the challenge and it made the season really D when D got edited out of the challenge yeah. and it was like made it very weird. So um, who knows? And I did see people on Twitter last week just saying like, oh, we need to find Olu Love. He's such a good catch. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, these people must have not seen Brandon's tweet. Yes, seriously. I know. I don't know what happened, but I, I, I hope we find out, honestly. Um, also, on the topic of people we were hitting early on this episode, Genevieve, I just want to say, I feel great about my selection of Aaron as my top guy on the beach. He was so sweet with her. And like, when he was like, I was just playing sharks and minnows in the pool. I thought that was adorable. <laughs> um, I do like Aaron. His voice like really throws me. I love that he admittedly said he was trying to make it like rough being like, well, so for me, it was like, he didn't just say like, yeah, no, me either. Like I didn't talk to anybody. He like drew it out to make it like kind of funny to like make Genevieve worry for like two seconds. Mm -hmm. And then when he went over and told the guys, he like started laughing because he was like, yeah, no, I purposely did it like that. He has, listen, he's, we've, I think like, since he's come on the batch scene, he's been a hot commodity. Like everyone thinks he's hot. He seems funny. Yeah. Um, he seems like, a, he seems fun. I, although yeah. him, tr- I'm, I'm like sick of the facts thing. Like, let's just drop that. All right, let's move on. It's like part of a shtick. Yeah, I get it, but I'm ready to move on from it. <laughs> so am I. That's what I'm, there's just like little things about Aaron that I'm just like, eh. Um, I guess I'm surprised she likes Genevieve so much because he's like seems like such a laid back dude and she's so high strung. Um, but yeah. but maybe that you know it's just complimentary. Who who knows? Also maybe she's a lot chiller when she's having when she's not feeling freaked out about a man. <laughs> <laughs> Which like um, who isn't you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, I wonder if they're still together. But I did. Uh, like it made me feel good watching that. Yeah, You know, when you like watch reality TV shows and like good things or not even TV shows in general and like good things happen and you're just like, oh, that's so nice. I know. Like, I that's think I was I smiling. And I, I in general like Genevieve. I also like that her and Shanae like love each other now. All right. And on, on that note, we're all, all the way back to Shanae. So <laughs> Shanae went, uh, she got really mad at Kate. There was the Logan, Kate, Shanae triangle. We'll talk about Logan and Kate in a second. But Shanae, I think Shanae had a point. She was offended that Kate and Logan didn't like go out of view when they were going to be like no. noodling. And no. I think she had a point. That's valid. I do not agree. You don't? I'm shocked. No. No. What, like, what do you mean? You walked away and you think they should go and hide? No. There's also, plenty of other places. They were very also, close are, to her. What are we talking about here? <laughs> Shanae was in... The, what's the other place called? The Vedanta? Vedanta, yeah. Um, the only reason why she's even going back to Aaron is because Tyler Logan. said... Lo- Logan, fuck. The only reason why she's going back to Logan is because Tyler said no. Like, I don't feel bad for you, Shanae. You didn't even <laughs> want Logan <laughs> at all. And the fact that she's just like, this doesn't make sense, da 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 like all these things. I'm like, why is everyone forgetting that Shanae was literally over there willing to talk to whoever? Yeah, I... She uh, even said something is missing over there. And then she's like, maybe something's not missing. And I'm like, no, something's not missing now because you have no other option. She should have stuck with James. I, I, My biggest takeaway from this is that Logan... I'm back to disliking Logan. And this reminds me that I'm now going to look up how many streams she has on Spotify. Yeah, I'm back to disliking Logan. When he was like... The way that you made me feel and he was like, the way that you treated me was not okay. And it's like, did you feel oh that way before? God. Was he just using her for a rose? He's up to 10,000 streams. <laughs> it's like a thousand more than last week. I cannot believe that you're against him now. <laughs> you like him? <laughs> I, I like him the same amount. Like, no difference at all. He's well, very I, inarticulate. That's another one of my problems. Um, do we want to go there? Inarticulate? You know who's vocabulary seems less than ideal yeah. danielle <laughs> i feel like everything she says is like she is very 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 special she's so nice the nicest she is i was like what like her descriptions were just like elementary i was so confused danielle's a snooze i just have like I- I like forget she's on the show and then I see her and I'm like, who's that again? I'm like, oh, right, Danielle. 
I, I would trade in all the Danielle minutes to get more of the Australians. The Australians seem fun. Like, I would like like, uh, like to party with them. I don't know their names. <sighs> yeah, I don't know their names. I don't know their names, but so I like the only the only huge problem with the Australians. I'm like, you really want these people to find love with someone 20 hours away from them? <laughs> Well, maybe they can move. <laughs> yeah, like I was just like, logistically, this is just not going to work. <sighs> oh God! Well, I enjoyed them. I like the more of the cross pollination. It's interesting that that Alex was on Bachelor Australia, but we're gonna. I'm I'm leading us all over the place. I'm doing a terrible job of hosting this week. Let's get <laughs> let's get back <laughs> to Kate Logan and Shanae. So Kate's our girl. She's finally on the beach. We were wondering how she was going to end up with Logan, and it seemed to have caught everyone by surprise. It required a flashback to 1.30 a.m. that showed them being like, yeah, I'm into you. And I'm just like, how do they even determine that? Like, what was the time for them to figure it out? I was so confused. (laughs) They had, we, we, they, we missed something. Uh, It's the, it's the only thing that makes sense. Um, I guess like, yeah, there must've just been like some hang or beach party. I don't know who knows what it was, but yes, they gave us one snippet. It's just like these, there's so much paradise every week. There's three hours minus commercials, right? Yeah. Like how did we miss it? (laughs) How do they, how do they choose to show some other stuff, but not like the key information of how this like central couple is now involved is like now together. We barely got this. I know. Like the clip we know, got I, was like a little flashback. Although, yeah, I know it was like it was like probably under twenty seconds, right? Yeah, and all it all it was was her being like, uh, "I think I'm I'm into you," and he was like, "Me too." Right. <laughs> I'm willing. I'm willing to go through whatever is to come. I'm just so confused about who Logan is. I just like what a weird, confusing guy. Like. What is, I don't know. We got to talk to Kate. We got to see what she sees in him because I I just am not seeing it except for like how his breakup with Shanae, but which I I don't think was handled particularly well. Not that it was like. I think it's really, really strange that you think that they should have walked away. (laughs) Shanae walked away. She could have kept walking. I don't know. They're just like so touchy. Why did she stop? They're so touchy. This is a whole different Kate. I mean, this is just. First of all, she seems like she's having a great time, which I'm I'm happy for her. But like, I don't know the things she's saying. Uh, there, the way that she like talks so directly, and she's like, "This is how I feel at all times." Um, it's just like surprising to me, I guess. And well, so, so yeah, so also the the Logan Kate date. Um, I'm like, did you guys? get to know each other it didn't seem like they were getting to know each other it seemed like they just kept reaffirming each other Mm -hmm. like all i remember hearing and i'm sure i'm missing some of the conversation but most of the conversation was like i'm into this i'm into this too i'm ready to go on a rocket ship and blast off me too i really like you (laughs) me too you're so fun you're so fun too like i was like wait where's the like where are you from i know it was just like no conversation where are you from what's your favorite color what was your experience like on the bachelor how old are you where do you live (laughs) like i was just like everyone else you kind of get a little bit of background and like you know i don't want to hear this because obviously we've talked about this but like usually we'll hear like a trauma story or something that something that like opens you up to the person more. Mm -hmm. And all we were getting was them going back and forth, telling each other how much they liked the other person. And I was like, but why? Why? It's great. You guys like each other, but like, when was there, like, when did you guys ever talk? I don't know. Like, how do you know her name? I I have no idea. I would, I would love to know. We're going to have to get Kate back on the pod to find out. Um, Also, I do, I, I do li- like how Kate's like just you know doesn't care about like really anything. It seems like she's just going for it. But I would love to know like what she was looking for. Like I feel like Kate has given a lot of good sound bites. Like that there was that funny moment where she was like saying the different idioms and then she ran out and she's like I'm done. Like she's been a really fun presence on the show, but we still haven't gotten to know her that well. She has a lot of sayings though. Like not just that moment, but yes, then there was like like. She's just constantly saying stuff like Some that. Some people talk like that. That's just like who they are. <laughs> I mean, I think that's who Kate is. Yeah, I, I, I think so too. 
There's no, there's not a minute sound clip of her not saying one. I'm going to have to go back through and check. It's like a great, the whole a great episode. question. Whole um, episode. What did you think of her point to Shanae when Shanae was like, you trashed me, the women tell all. And Kate's like, that's not relevant. Uh, yeah, no, I agree. You do? I'm like, I'm yeah, like totally because, on Shanae's side. I, oh my gosh, Juliet. <laughs> I thought Kate's, I, I wish she would have like explained it a little better, but I was like, okay, fine. Great analogy. When she was like, this isn't like a WWE match where we're like throwing down over our season, which I was like, you could have just said, the women tell all when we discuss everything that happened on the season. You acted like an insane person during the season. So yeah, I had <laughs> stuff to say because you took a lot of time away from me. By the way, wasn't the only one, Shanae. It was you versus 30 up there because that's how many people you rubbed the wrong way. Did I talk about you there? Surely did to your face and so did everybody else. When I came to the beach, I was coming here with a clean slate. I'm coming here to find love. There's more than one guy here. We're all here trying to connect with people. Just because I said something about you at the Women Tell All, and so did your every every fucking person here on this beach, including your best friend over there, Genevieve, one of the main <laughs> ones saying stuff about you on stage, that has nothing to do with my actions here. I know, but it, um, does it... Should it, I, I do hold everything that you did during the season against you right now? Let's go there. <laughs> I do think it's unreasonable for to expect that like Shanae wouldn't have any residual feelings from one of those events, you know, like that's fair. She brought it on herself. Oh my God. You're so anti Shanae. Wow. Actually wow. like, I liked Shanae this season, but I do like- I think that the way she acted <laughs> on the show is what led to what happened at the women tell all. Yeah. Also like she didn't even apologize at women tell all. Are we like, are we forgetting? No, I, Cass- I understand. Remember Cassidy came on and was like, I made mistakes, da 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 whatever. Shanae came on and was trying to defend everything that she did. Shanae is wild. I definitely agree with that. But I think what I'm just, what I'm getting at is I do find Kate and Logan annoying. So I think that I have some sympathy for Shanae. Yeah, I don't get why you find them annoying. If know. anyone has a right to be annoyed, it's poor Sarah. Sure. I, I, that's totally to quote Kate. That's irrelevant. Like we can come back to Kate. We can come back to Sarah. But like I just find Kate and Logan to be, I don't know. I'm just like I guess because I don't get it. I'm just like why are you guys so into each other and like so? Where did this come from? I don't know. Okay. I just feel like they're so ostentatious with their relationship. I agree with you that like I don't know where this is coming from. Mm-hmm. So that's fair. <laughs> um, but like all the couples act like that. I guess so. I just, Logan is so, so strange. I'm just like, who is this creature? And like, does he actually have feelings for Kate? Or he just is so flat. Like, I don't know. He doesn't actually like emote, really. I mean, yeah, I can't answer those questions for you because I just generally like, don't really understand. I can't like remember a conversation of that. Like, I don't know Logan. Yeah, I know. He just seemed like, I feel like we have a better sense. Like, I feel like even though we haven't gotten a ton of Rodney, we definitely like see how, why he's who so he loved. Yeah. Like, I feel like of all the people on the beach, Logan, I understand the least. The least. Agreed. By far. So I'm just like, I don't know. I just find them annoying. And then I just find him like mopey, kind of. I think I don't like mopey people. Uh, Yeah, I mean, most people don't like mopey people. So, I mean, that's not (laughs) anything that's like groundbreaking. That's not groundbreaking. (laughs) No. (laughs) All right. Well, before there was Logan and Kate, there was Jacob and Kate. And that yeah. led Jacob to realizing he wanted to break up with Jill. Bad beat for Jill. That really sucks. Yeah, the way that I she know. ran up to him, like, so excited to see him on the beach and how she was, like, so happy to get back. Wait, 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 wait. This is one of my favorite moments of this week. Is when they sat down and he was like, she was like, do you have a lot to say? And he was like, no and he was like do you have a lot to say and she was like uh no not really and he's like yeah i mean like i have like the same thing as you i'm like no you don't jacob <laughs> you don't have the same thing as jill no matter what jill says what you're saying is not going to be the same thing he's like yeah probably like not much same thing as you and was like acting so chill and then he was just like yeah so like i found a connection that i did think was greater than you but honestly it just like made me realize that like you're just not my person <laughs> which I think makes a lot of sense. Honestly, it's one of the most logical things I've heard this season, but so hard to hear. If I'm Jill, I'm just like, fuck 
you. It is the worst, probably. Like, what's worse than that? It's like, I found a connection. She didn't like me, but it made me realize that I don't like you. Yeah. But it's like, that's like so honest and so real. Yeah. No, I mean, that's what you, this is, listen, that, I can't be mad happens. at him for that when that's what we're asking from, like, that's what we wanted Michael A to do to Sierra. He seems like, yeah, exactly. It, it's like, so it's, it just, it just sucks. It's just it's like horrible. not fun for anyone to hear. So, but I will say, like, to your point, I'm not mad at Jacob. Like, he was honest and yeah. he said it. And, like, as a result, I respect him. Unlike, you know what I life. don't like? What? Not, this has nothing to do with, well, I mean, it has something to do with it, but like, I'm not mad at Jacob for this. Like, why did, why, Jill, why do you have to leave? Jacob gets to stay? Yeah, I, I know. He should have to go. He should be like, yeah, I'm not pursuing this, so I'm out. Yeah, or like, I, I, I'm just like, both of you guys can stay. Like, why, why does the women feel like they have to leave? You don't have to leave. Yeah. Don't leave. I know. I, I know. like actively don't want them to leave. I'm like, no. Also, Belle's fun. Like, I don't want to leave. I, I don't want her to leave either. Yeah, I mean, that's part of it, too. Like, Jill's great to watch. Uh, yeah, she's, like, a huge part of the season. What are we going to do without her? Um, ca- question. I I cannot believe we still have, like, so many weeks of the show left. There's, like, seven more episodes. <laughs> On Love Island, when they do Casa more. like, at what point uh, in the season does that happen? Because I'm just like, okay, seriously, so, it's only half. It's like less than halfway through. We are really jumping all around, but let's get into it. So, um, I'm sorry. I'm, this I, is I'm frenetic <laughs> energy from, from being back on the beach. So this is like, they could have just really done this so well. And they just chose not to for some reason. So it's like very, very frustrating. But this is the biggest problem. Two things. Two biggest problems. First thing is, Cosmore usually happens with like, well, it's just so much longer, but like in, if I like did it in bachelor time, they would do it with like a week left. Got it. So like all these couples would be so, so much it's like a final along. test. Yes. It's like a final test. Um, so they, they fucked that up. Then I hated how they brought people back. Like the way the cost of, have you ever seen an episode of the cost of War? like reuniting? No, no, we've never made it that far. So, so I'm in sorry Casa, to let you down. <laughs> in Casa More, when they come back, it is like the most dramatic. It's such a good episode because, and that could have been one of these episodes and the other episode be like post like the what's happening afterwards. So what they do is they would have, if they had all of the men sitting like by the beach, let's say, I don't know where they would do this, by the pool, whatever you want to do it. All the men are sitting there all of the new women are standing up in front of them, kind of like a rose ceremony, right? One by one, the old women would come back. So let's say Genevieve comes down first. Genevieve comes down first. She stands there and Jesse would say, Genevieve, are you... Or if she's if she's recoupling with someone, she would have walked in with the new cup, with, a, with the guy holding hands. With the old guy or the new guy? New guy. Got it. So like, let's say she recoupled who did recouple Brittany? Okay. Brittany. So let's like say Brittany, and, Brittany and comes Tyler. down with Tyler and Andrew would be sitting there by himself. Desenia would be standing there and they would say like, Justin would be like, Andrew, how are you feeling? Clearly Brittany made a connection <laughs> there. And then, um, Oh wait, sorry. I messed it up before Brittany came down. They would ask Andrew, are you recoupling or do you want to stick with Brittany? And he would say, I'm recoupling with Jasenia. So then Jasenia would come down and sit next to him. And then they would bring Brittany down. So imagine this happened with Logan. They'd be like, Logan, are you recoupling or not? He'd say, I'm recoupling. Kate would come and sit down next to him. And then um, Shanae would have walked in by herself and seen Logan sitting there with Kate. <laughs> Got it. And then that everyone be sitting better. there watching it too. Like clearly... As you could see, like everyone was like running from place to place to find the best spot to see what's happening when the couples were reuniting. Like everyone wants to know what's happening. That's like getting everything out there. Right. Okay. Then also with Casa Moore, they would bring in the three remaining guys in this situation. And then Jesse would be able to ask the three remaining guys questions. So the three remaining guys would stand up there and he, Jesse would be like, um, Alex, like, did you find a connection? And he would be able to say in front of everyone, 
like, yes, I did find a, a connection with um, Victoria F. And that's why I'm here. I want to explore a connection with her. Or, or he could ask Tyler, like, Tyler, did you know it was always going to be Brittany? And Tyler could have been like, well, no, I went on a date with Shanae. We kissed. And then, and like, it would just give more information about what happened there for everybody. Right. So that, that's like, it's more of like a open forum versus like these individual conversations, which yeah. just honestly sounds a lot more fun. I would prefer it's that. It's way more dramatic. <laughs> well, I think they were tr- kind of trying to go for that by having the staggered re-entrances, like, but it was just kind of random the way that they did it. And it yeah, didn't really make like, any sense. In what world is Serene like, yeah, I'll take the last bus. I know. There's no way. <laughs> well, the timing, I know, I can't remember off the top of my head right now, but I noticed a few different moments where I was like, oh, this is out of order. Because I showed like Serene, it was specifically with Serene. They showed her back on the beach at one point, like I think commenting on maybe Jill but I or Genevieve, I don't remember. But clearly... She, but she hadn't been like reintroduced to us in the timeline of the episode. So they were definitely showing things out of order, which is fine. Like they do that all the time. It's not that big of a deal. But because of the staggered entrances, it was just more noticeable. And then also just like, but those entrances were pointless. Like they introduced these twists and then just like didn't execute them well. I think it's kind of the yeah. problem. Also, I'm like, if you staggered entrance, you don't think who was the first person that came back? Mm. It was the trio of Jill, Genevieve, and Shanae. Shanae. Like, you don't think Genevieve is telling Andrew, hey, Brittany's coming back. Yeah, of course. So, yeah, so it's just like, it's not like, you could tell in the conversation, the pointless conversation of Andrew and uh, Brittany that like, he was just like, yeah, no, it's no for me. Yeah, easy for you to say now. You might have chosen to stay with Brittany. Like, we don't know. We don't know where his relationship was, was with Jasenia. Neither did she. She was like, should I be worried? Like, if he didn't know what Brittany did, who knows what Andrew would have done. Right. But obviously, if Andrew knows, he's like, yeah, obviously, I'm going to pick her. Andrew doesn't actually seem into Jacenia. I just think he wants to stay to hang. I just yeah, think that Andrew's like not... he's just having a good time. Yeah, he's not actually into, like, any of these people, which is fine. I yeah, mean, I... I think he was actually into Teddy. Uh, Yeah, I guess they had been talking beforehand or whatever. But yeah, I don't know, I like... I think it just didn't work out, so he's like, all right, I guess I'm just going to chill. Yeah, <laughs> he just seems like he wants to have fun. I mean, he's, like... It was funny just at the towards the end of the episode to see them all so excited about like beach party. It's like, what part of this experience is not a beach party? So why yeah. are you all so excited? Nobody knows. <laughs> that was very confusing to me. Um, I also liked uh just total side note about the beach port beach party. I like seeing everyone's outfits. I like seeing what they chose to like come back for, like what they chose to wear to come back. And then, like, what they wore at night. Like, they clearly, like, put a lot of emphasis on it. And I will say, a lot of the women, they showed out. It's, like, some of their best looks of the season. Yeah, also, um, I was thinking about this when they were at the Vedanta. That I was like, wow, they do look so refreshed. They do. They look like, like, at one point, they, like, showed Shanae. And I was like, she looks fucking amazing right now. It's, I, Shanae, in particular, like, looked great. I was <laughs> yeah. just like, she's hot. But I was also wondering, I was like, like, she has blonde hair. Like, yeah. you need a good shower with blonde hair. Mm. I wouldn't like, know. If you have darker hair, you can kind of hide grease so much easier than, I know, because obviously my mom's hair is blonde. and she I don't think that's really... obvious. I don't think most people know. What <laughs> <looks like. laughs> well, my mom has blonde hair, naturally blonde. She's very blonde, by the way. Um, and so is randomly my daughter. That's it. That's where um, your daughter gets it from. Okay, we figured it out. Yeah, that's what my mom thinks. I don't know if jeans work like that. But anyways, I'll I give her credit. I think they do, sure. Callie, but that's a different podcast. <laughs> yeah. Um, but like, she can't go like, if she doesn't wash her hair for 48 hours, it looks nuts. Well, they have showers at the beach. It's just like, Yeah, but it's good. just not, yeah, it's not the same. I actually think that Kate's hair really suffered from being on the beach. You could tell she wasn't doing her usual routine. Same with Danielle. And they both have blonder hair. Yeah. Yeah, you could tell. This episode is brought to you by eBay Authenticity Guarantee. eBay knows that when it comes to jewelry, authenticity is the real gem. When you see the blue check mark that says Authenticity Guarantee, it means your next piece will be carefully inspired by jewelry experts and will always be worth its weight in gold. Whether you're looking to make a statement or build the perfect everyday look, eBay is making sure you get the real deal. 
With eBay Authenticity Guarantee, you can trust that jaw-dropping piece will always arrive jaw-droppingly real. Ensure your next purchase is the real deal. Visit ebay.com for terms. This episode is brought to you by Visible. Maybe you've already let your New Year's resolution slip. We all have, but you can still make a two-year's resolution with Visible. Right now, you can get a one-line wireless plan from Visible for just $20 per month for 24 months. 24 months is basically four bachelor seasons. That could be four engagements, four broken engagements, so many other couples we didn't see them coming. It's really an eternity in Bachelor Nation. And that's unlimited 5G data powered by Verizon with no annual contracts. Switch now at Visible.com and use the code Visible24. Don't miss out. Offer ends January 31st. New members only. Promotional rate with service on the Visible plan. For additional terms and network management practices, see Visible.com. This episode is brought to you by State Farm. You might say all kinds of stuff when things go wrong, but these are the words you really need to remember. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. They've got options to fit your unique insurance needs, meaning you can talk to your agent to choose the coverage you need, have coverage options to protect the things you value most, file a claim right on the State Farm mobile app, and even reach a real person when you need to talk to someone. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Um, I have to say, I feel like Kate styles some of my least favorite beach style, but also some of the most realistic. Like, I feel like that's what people just wear to the beach. Um, also Kate, when she did the massage, mm-hmm. her abs yeah. were insane. The she's, girl has been working out. She has like, she's all muscle. Like she mm-hmm. looks, she looks great. Amazing. Um, I thought Britney's outfit, her return outfit with like that monokini and like the like kind of like robe was very like Victoria's Secret's angels. And I thought she looked great. I was like, crush it, girl. I really like her. She's she's very sweet. She seems very wide eyed. I don't know. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know if this Tyler thing's gonna go over well for her. Um because right. I think Tyler is giving me I wanna be at the beach. I don't think so. I think Tyler's into her. I don't know. I don't think we saw him in any trailer in the trailer. Like no, we didn't. Else. No, we didn't. So I doubt it. I think he's in there. I, I think Tyler is like a pretty like sweet guy. I'm actually shocked at how in shape he is and like his muscles. Yeah, no, Did he have those on that. the Bachelorette? It seems like he aged ten years in a good way. Yeah, I like him so much <laughs> more now. <laughs> like before, I wasn't sure if I was allowed to like want to have sex with him and now I'm like for sure allowed <laughs> you know what I mean you, yeah you're like how old are you <laughs> yeah before I was like I don't know and now I'm like oh no for sure that's how but I yeah. felt watching tell me lies I was like I need to look up everyone's age I was like how old is this guy <laughs> how old are they <laughs> like 26 yeah I was gonna say they they have to be uh for that show yeah I, I would say so <laughs> by the way yep great show yeah the finale is, tom- is tomorrow can't wait it's the finale yeah, it sucks. I got a lot to wrap up in one episode. I mean, they're obviously not going to. You don't have to. I guess you can read the book if you don't. Yeah, I know. I'm just looking for. reading a book right now and I can't stop. There's a few books I need to read and I just need to finish this book before I okay. move on. What is it? Homegoing. It's actually really good, but there's like a billion characters. So you can't like skim it. You know what I mean? Like you mm-hmm. have to really read it. It's taking me a long time. All right. Well, you were six. Carry on. Um, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> You'll figure it out. Um, I, in, in general, oh, I guess we haven't talked about Victoria, like, at all. First of all, do you like Victoria? Yeah, I do a lot. I like her now, too. I go back and forth. I like her I, so I now much. like her. I also, I think I always thought she was pretty. She's really pretty. By the way, let's just get this out of the way, because I keep bringing up looks. Mm-hmm. I think these people are all very good looking. Literally everyone is attractive. <laughs> everyone is attractive. I can't, I cannot believe how skinny these women are. Like also the camera truly do, the, does add 10 pounds. And yeah. I think I have really, really discovered that at BravoCon. Yeah. I just like, I can't, I can't believe it. Like even in like Victoria was wearing her, that, the dress she was wearing at the end. I really liked. I also liked that she was wearing Birkenstocks. I was like, yeah, girl, I'll go for comfort. You should. Um, She's just, She's Even like, okay, naturally, she's, yeah. She's I'm about to say she doesn't wear that much makeup. Like, I really like her style. Yeah. Um, Victoria was was like a a villain because first of all, she wore a, I think she wore a Marlins Lives Matter shirt when she was on Peter's season of The yeah. Bachelor. Yeah. Um, and then I I don't. It was like obviously just like playing on Black Lives Matter. 
It was um, also a fundraiser or something, right? It was about, yeah, it was about like saving Marlins, but it was Fish, it was yeah. in poor taste. It was in poor, very, it's offensive. Yeah, for sure. I think she apologized, but that's mm-hmm. a, a legitimate reason why people didn't like her. And then second of all, there was like rumors that she hooked up with married men. Um, oh, I didn't know about that part. You know, I believe that came from Reality Steve. Um, well, I would say that's like pretty horrible, but also like, I wouldn't say that's a reason to like necessarily hate someone that you don't know personally, maybe like morally be against them. But I'm, I don't know. I'm being a, I'm being a Victoria apologist right now, but I will just say she seems also quite fun. Like her, when, when they're just like sitting on the couch and it's like her, Jill and Serene, I was like, that seems like a fun trio. They're just like having a good time. Um, also I could tell that her and Serene really got along. So that's like a, that's a green flag for me yeah. for Victoria. Yeah, they, they seem like best, like the best of that group, like close friends. I also really love the scene with her and Shanae when they both were just like, why are they freaking out? Right? I know. <laughs> <laughs> we're coming here to date people. Like everyone just needs to relax. I was like, yeah, I'm really into this. I also think that like, I do think that women as they get older, start to think about like a lot of practical things with dating and like Johnny was so offended, but like, that's just not how it goes. I mean, also, I like, thought her questions, I was like, fairy tale. never ever see these questions on these shows. Yeah. This is like the most realistic. Yeah. Like I'm like, she's clearly taking this seriously. And I didn't think any of the, she was like, are you ready for a kid? What also I loved how she was like, not like, what are you doing? How much money you're making? She's like, I can get behind you like having a passion, but like, what is that? I completely what are your agree with that sentiment. Just like have something that you love and want to do. It's not just about yeah, like making and, money. Yeah, and like, what's your plan? Yeah. And that's essentially what she was asking. And he was like, I'm motivated. And she was like, that's, that's awesome. But like... To do what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I just felt like the way she handled that, I was like, yeah, this is so normal. I know it really is. Um, we're gonna have a spoiler conversation now. I, I really want to tell you about this on on the pod because I I just like can't wait oh, to see your God. reaction. Slight spoiler. <laughs> it, not slight. It's, oh, ma- it's a major spoiler. I think I already know what it is. It's a major spoiler. Is so it, it's, does it have to do with one of my favorite people on the on the planet? Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you've gotten a lot of warnings, people. Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. <laughs> we'll mark in the in the description when you can come back in. All right, spoiler combo. The rumor is. Victoria is currently hooking up with or dating the one and the only Greg Grippo. And they like went to Italy together or something. And we love to see it. <laughs> I when do I, love that. I think that's when, a great couple. <laughs> when I saw it, obviously I'm like partially heartbroken. And then the other part of me was like, this is the best thing ever. I'm so happy. That's a show I'd watch. Victoria and Greg and Italy. I'm like, is there, are there cameras? I'd love to get some info on that. Some intel. I That'd mean, be awesome. just, I couldn't be happier. Greg Grippo and Tyler Cameron are just like, I think, geniuses. They did not engage further with the show, but they like remain in Bachelor like consciousness. And like, it's just treating I mean, them well. One million percent. Like, this is so great for Greg. I, would I say really it, don't understand. I thought, didn't we hear he was going to be on Paradise? I don't know. I think he had a girlfriend, which is what happened. He couldn't go because he, had a, oh, he okay. was dating someone. But I love this. I like Victoria. I will say, I do feel dating Greg kind of undercuts her pursuit of, like, a man ready to settle down. But who knows? Maybe Greg would just find peace with Victoria and then they start being serious. But, you know. Greg does seem more, like, chill, though. Like, he's not, like... Yeah, well, I totally understand. I totally get wanting to date someone from who's been on the show, but is not currently like on one of the shows because you have like a shared experience that not a lot of people can understand. You know, a lot of the same people, probably both looking to do some spawn con, and like it just like makes sense. It's like dating someone that you meet through work, if not like at work. You know? Yeah, yeah. I I mean, what a great couple. <laughs> Well, this this concludes the spoiler conversation, but I just felt we had to mention it as you are probably one of the biggest Greg Grippo fans out there. You're a Grippo girl. There has to be more of us. I think there are, but I, I don't know. I mean, I I only, you know, I trolled Reddit for information, avoid spoilers where I can, but this one was too good. I was like really excited about it. Um, I think this guy named Dave Neal broke it. Uh, so. I, I, I saw it on TikTok. 
Well, I don't do TikTok as discussed many times. Why didn't you send that to me if you saw it on TikTok? Because I, f- I feel like I've been sending you a lot lately. Yeah, I appreciate it. It's how I, it's how I engage with TikTok. I need it, Callie. Yeah, I feel like I send you so much that there's times I'm like, I gotta, I gotta pick and choose my battles. But I don't know why I didn't send you that because I know that you would have appreciated it. Um, what do you think of Alex? Do you remember him from Rachel Lindsay's season? I think I recall that all. Rachel liked him. Like, as don't like remember a at all. Person. He seems like well, an adult. Also, Rachel was the bachelor at, I think that film. Not that long ago. It was a while ago now. She fit. Like five years? Yeah, because she was, she was the bachelor at in the summer of 2017. So five years. Over five years ago. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess it just doesn't seem like it's like, yeah, I don't know. He seems like a nice guy. Um, no, he seems so normal. No. Yeah, he seems fine. I don't know. Like, I do think um, just sort of like popping up randomly to go on Bachelor in Paradise Australia and then Bachelor in Paradise America is kind of weird. But yeah, he seems fine. Um, I thought it was really funny how Victoria liked him because he massaged her head. Like she was there. She was like, you were there when I needed you. And they didn't speak. She yeah. just basically was like, you were the masseuse I needed at the right time. <laughs> um, by the way, I was like, honestly, I completely agree with this. With what? If- if I was just chilling, didn't really feel like talking, you just came and massaged my head you could, you could tell I was tired. Awesome. Yeah. Seemed nice of him. I, I do kind of feel bad for the guys who had to go to Casa more. Like, it just didn't seem that fun unless you're Tyler no. or Alex. But Australian Matt. Not, I think even, not, even, Matt. not even Alex. It was pretty much like just Tyler was out there. It was basically a bust. Like, these women yeah. are just like weren't ready for it. They're so focused on these relationships. That, yeah, like, like if if you waited, obviously we've seen the previews for next week, right? Next week, Aaron and her get into a huge fight over it seems like nothing. Um, like if you wait like a week and a half more, where they're much more invested, um, like I bet Serene doesn't even cry a week from now. You know what I mean? Like she would yeah. be in a different place. Yeah. Um, but I think that the part of the problem is like how many of them legitimately want to find like a really solid relationship. And so they don't want to like risk it for something new. Like it seems like on Love Island, they're more open to like swapping partners. Yeah. Because like, I mean, yeah, I was really serious this, about it. All of the people I mean, are. By the way, that was such a funny question. <laughs> when Brittany and Andrew were talking and um, he was like, you know, I'm not in a rush. And she was like, Andrew, we get engaged at the end of this. And he was like, <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> like, Andrew's not. Let me tell you, based off that conversation, no matter what happens, Andrew is not getting engaged at the end of this. <laughs> no way. So it seems pretty explosive going forward. Genevieve seems to storm off and her and Aaron get into a fight. Yeah. I, Kate allegedly goes on a date with Hayden. I really don't believe that. I do not believe she actually goes. Or like, maybe she talks to him, but... I don't know. I feel like Hayden must have a really bad reputation. I think she's going. Okay. Um, I don't think she's going to like him, but I think she goes. And it's like a whole thing. Seems like Rodney and Eliza hit some bumps. Eliza's well, interested seems in like others. Justin comes back, which Justin. I'm happy about. Me too. He seems like he is much more like, all right, I know what I'm doing now. Yeah. Like, he got he his bearings. down on the sand. He was making out. He's ready to go. I'll, he's just so handsome. Of all of these guys, he is <laughs> by far the most handsome. Also, just just send you. I mean, not just send you. I'm sorry, Genevieve being mad about him coming back. I'm like Genevieve. Like she's just doing focus, it for the camera. Focus on what you got. I know, and, and, and you've got a great guy. <laughs> yeah. Like, why are we get, even her feeling bad for Shanae? I'm like, why? She was you. You were the main person that knows that she didn't even want Logan. Because they they're became good friends. She didn't want her friend to be upset. She yeah, but I would have gone over to, to Shanae and been like, let's snap out of this. You didn't like <laughs> it. someone else for you. There's other guys um, here. Don't ruin your chances with them by acting crazy. Uh, and then I'm trying to think if there are anyway, any other... It seems like Shanae is now with Jacob. Oh, yeah. Shanae and Jacob. Great. Just using each other. That's great. They should. That also, they like make much more sense to me. I don't know. I'm not really sure who Shanae should be with. And I'm also not sure who he should be with. But maybe it's each other. I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's each other. Even though I don't know if it's real, but I, like, I'm like i fine with that. I'm fine with them being together. <laughs> Seems like they're they're just doing great. Um, It was a pretty good week of Paradise in general. You said you really enjoyed it. I was very... I'm like, I think that they obviously could have done it way better. But it was 
four hours of entertainment for me. Yeah. <laughs> they just like stretch stuff out so much. It's kind of like shocking to me how much they like there's so much like filler. Like even Kate and Logan's date, like so little actually happened. It was just them like reaffirming that they like each other over and over yeah. again. And I was just like, that could have been a like a quarter of the time. Massage. Yeah. It's just, but whatever. We're al- we're here along for the ride. Yeah. Great stuff. Um, all right, everybody. We will be back. I think some more love is blind later in the week. Uh wait. Yeah. <laughs> yes. On this episode, am yeah. I wrong? What? Uh, how, if, 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 if this is this episode, I feel like we really messed up. Um, didn't Ronnie break up with Luce? Was that at the beginning of the week? Oh my God. <laughs> so much happened. We forgot. <laughs> I think it was. That was kind of a big thing. Um, was it a big thing? Yeah, because then Jesse goes back to the girls. And, and he's like, like, oh, I have to tell you, Luce is gone. Yeah, because she tried to go get Rodney and he's, he's found another connection. By the now, time I get that, to the end of episode two of the week, I'm just like, I, I just like can't remember anything about my life. And I'm just like, what happened here? <laughs> it's a lot. It is a lot. But that's, that's how much happened this week. <sighs> I know. But I was going to say that happening. Um, You're right. The very first thing that happened was Rodney and Luce broke up. Yeah. And I feel like when stuff like that, like Jesse knew going back and saying that obviously was going to just throw them down another like tunnel. By the way, it threw the guys down a freaking tunnel too. I don't even know if that's a, a saying, going down tunnel. But like Brandon really started to spiral a little bit. I know. Can I just tell you? I'm I'm going back now that you mentioned it. The first like 15 to 20 minutes of the episode of episode one like without commercial, so even longer, was dedicated to the loose breakup and then branded and then Brandon spiraling. Like I cannot yeah. believe so much time was dedicated to loose and I totally forgot already. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what made me think about that. I was thinking about I was gonna be like, yeah, we lost loose. And then I was like, that was last week, right? And in my head I was like, I think it was this week. <laughs> um I yeah, I, I, you're right. It was a long, protracted thing. It was sad. It felt bad for her. But, I, you know, I think everyone really liked Luce. I feel like this was a big win for her. Like, everyone being America and the people on the beach. Yeah, I do think that her overall perception, like, everyone was like, she's a really nice girl, blah, blah, blah. Fun. Also, she didn't turn into, like, the Lucinator or whatever they were calling her, like, the Tornado Luce. Like, she was pretty chill. They were saying the Sinado, and I think then it was Lucifer. Lucifer. Like, or La- Lucifer. We're called Lucifer. Lucifer is too obvious because we keep calling her Luce, yeah, but really Luce, her name is Lit. Lace. Lucifer, Lace whatever. Like, I thought she handled it completely fine. Like, she was upset. Yeah, but, with like, dignity. That's what you're going to be upset. Yeah. I thought it was also, I think Rodney handled it as, like, as best as he could. Yeah. Um, It was really awkward. He was like trying to hug her and was like, I'm so sorry. And she was just like, like, you could tell she was like, okay, like, please stop hugging me. One thing I like about Rodney. Is he seems like the male equivalent of like a, a guy's guy, not of like a girl's girl. Not, it's not that he's like so like macho or whatever, but he just seems like a great friend and like men around him like seem to really love him. Mm-hmm. And obviously women too, but I just feel like he has like a sweetness to him that also makes him like really beloved and it like makes him fun to root for. Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like people, like yeah, everyone just, seems to love him. Everyone loves Rodney, but I just feel like that's just not a common. Type. But I have to say, this aside from Logan and Johnny, who I don't care for, I feel like this is like a pretty good group of guys. Like they all seem pretty nice. Like Andrew, Aaron, oh. Tyler, Rodney, Brandon. Those are all nice. My Mike Lay, not where, included. I was gonna say, where does he land? Yeah, so I had a take also that I forgot to mention. What happened this week, people? It's my fault. I just this is one of my um, all-time bad job hosting, but a lot of high <laughs> energy. Um I was watching this show and there were moments where I'm like, I really like don't like that I don't like Michael A. Like he still had like I still like him sometimes. He's entertaining. There's times where I like him and like part of it like I was thinking when I was watching this, like, I don't really want his him and him or Danielle's commentary of them just like getting to like be the narrators of the wreckage when they didn't have to go through it. It's so, like 
I but know. that's not their fault that producers did that. You know what I mean? So yes. I don't know. I feel like part of me still likes Michael A. I think when Michael A is not talking about his son and not talking about, um, you know, Trauma. everything that happened with his his wife, um, he's a lot more likable. But I think it's just like it muddles our perception of him, at least it does for me, when he then like invokes what he's been through and his son. Yeah. And so, yeah, like I was like when he like when he was the first person to go up to Lace, and like even when the guys were talking about this is not going well, it's not going well. And Michael was like, Ugh, I feel really bad for her. Like she's a nice girl. And I was just like, like yeah, he's saying the like he's being he's the an nice adult, guy here. honestly. Yeah, he's he's much 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 more mature than many of them, which is great. <laughs> but I just think you know what he did to Sierra still really fucking sucks. Yeah, no, no, it does, it does. But I'm not, I, I, I'm not fully excusing that. I'm just saying there's moments where I'm like, why did you do that? I yeah, really I really liked you. I will say one of my other takeaways from this week is just like there was so much editing that was obvious, and I was like it. I know that you do you you are who you are on camera, right? But they do really pick and choose what to show you. And I feel like with the way that Shanae just sort of was like the swing in the pendulum from like calm <sighs> to not calm, and Genevieve only seeing her crying, basically, I was like, yeah, they really choose how they're gonna like portray everyone, and you do not get the full picture. And I think yeah. that's true with Michael as well, like because when you just use him as a narrator and kind of like leave everything else aside, he's like totally enjoyable and pleasant. Yeah, 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 that's true. Also, this episode clearly needed a ton of editing because of like all the entrances and all that. Yeah, so it, it just, just was. Yeah, it was a lot, but not a lot. It was like, give me more beach chaos and less Kate and Logan on a date. Um, looking forward to next week. Me too. Me too. Callie, you get me more into this show. I appreciate it. Sometimes I was like, this is stupid, but you bring so much enthusiasm and joy. You know, I really appreciate yeah. it. I mean, it was a good watch for me. I mean, I. I watched it in like several segments and I enjoyed it too. Um, All right, for real this time, thanks to Erica Cervantes for producing this episode. (laughs) We will be back later in the week with Love is Blind and of course next Tuesday night with more Bachelor in Paradise. Have a great one. Bye. 